Good morning, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to the pre-market game plan for the major futures indices, gold and oil for today, Friday. It is June 22nd, 7.36 a.m. Eastern Time. We're gonna begin with the m NASDAQ 100 index futures. The overnight price action carried the price higher. Thus, right now on the hourly chart, the price is trading above the 200 moving average. And we do have a confluence of support area at the 7250 zone. If into the New York trading session open or ahead of the New York trading session open, the price is going to break above the 7271. Uh, price can accelerate higher into the following resistance areas, which will represent further target zones, 7280, uh, 7300, uh, 7371, and obviously into these prior highs of 7350, 7358, which is the all-time high for the NASDAQ. There are some other uh, further projections, but for throughout the morning session and through the afternoon trading session, we'll see if we could get above these zones first. So immediate target is gonna be into the 7280 zone, 7300, and we're gonna be looking for 7320. If the price is not going to be able to stay above the 200 moving average and it's going to reverse and if we're going to break below the 7250 we can see an acceleration lower back into the prior low of 7226 and even into the 7200. Let's continue with the Imini Dow industrial average. Uh, Imini Dow industrial average has continued to be one of the weakest indices so far. Uh, Other week, it is up 100 points on the day, 0.43% to the upside, and it's actually one of uh, the most uh, advanced index as of right now. So 44% to the upside, 0.44% to the upside. Uh, same, uh, same as the mini S&P 500, also 0.43% to the upside. So the overnight price action carried the price higher, but it is into an area of resistance at 24,600. So we will have to see how the price is gonna digest this area before continuing further. On a reversal under 24,545, we may see an acceleration lower to revisit prior visited lows in the New York trading session yesterday at the 24,500 and even a revisit of the 24,400. If the price is going to cluster and if the price is going to digest this prior area of resistance, um, and in fact, as you can see here, for the last three hours, we have been consolidating quite bullishly at this zone. A break above 24,600 may carry the price higher into the following target zones. 24,630, 24, sorry about that, 24,700, and 24,780, 24,800, and back into this cluster from earlier Wednesday in the overnight trading session, 24,857, 24,900, and back into the 200 moving average, very close to the 25K. If this cluster is not gonna manage to digest these prior highs that were actually developed in Tuesday's trading session, uh, and that are creating this area of minor resistance at the 24,600. If the price is going to break below 24,550, we may see lower prices back into the 24,500 and back into the prior lows into the 24,400 area that we have visited in yesterday's trading session. Let's continue with the mini S&P 500 index. Imini S&P 500 index uh, has created a higher low compared to the prior low that was developed in the, earlier this week. Let's just zoom out a little bit. All right. And right now for the last three hours, it has been consolidating into an area of support from prior price action back in, back in Tuesday. If this area is gonna be stable enough to support a move up, a break over 27.66, may project the price higher back into the 27.75, back into this cluster highs, back into the 200 moving average. Here I would expect a reaction, a pullback, and if this pullback, so 
on this move from uh, from the breakout area at 27.66 to 27.70, if we really get the breakout and it, the advance higher in the 27.70 hot 27.75. Any pullback is going to be viable that may carry the price higher into the 2780, 2785, 2790, and so on. On today's price action, if the price is not going to be able to raise above this 50, uh, 50 moving average, simple moving average, and over these highs, 2766 to 2767, on a break below 2762 to 2761, we may see a reversal back to the prior visited areas from yesterday into the 2760, 2755, 2750, these prior lows, and on a break of these prior lows right here, all the way back down to the revisited areas at the 2737. So this cluster here that has been developing for the last three hours is going to be very important. The fact that we're actually having a range at this minor resistance level proves that the price may be ready to digest this prior visited area and a decision should be taken uh, quite soon. All right, let's uh, revisit Russell. Russell continues to be the powerhouse and continues to be one of the strongest indices and has been our little barometer and we have been playing back and forth with Russell for some time now uh, and uh, very successfully. Uh, we have been uh, tapping onto the 200 moving average. Uh, we have established a higher low reversal at this point and for the last three hours as well we have been ranging which means that we're we're digesting these prior highs that were developed earlier this week uh monday into tuesday's trading session uh a break over 1700 in fact 1702 may carry the price higher back into the 1705 and this is a confluence area multiple resistance area at this point including moving average uh, and a break over the 1705 may project the price higher into the 1708 into the 1713 to 1715 zone and back into these prior highs of 1720. On a reversal to the downside because of the uh, if we if the price is going to break below the 1798 zone, meaning it'll test the 20 uh, moving average, the price may continue lower back into the 1695 and back into the lows that we have revisited yesterday. So uh, this 200 moving average right here was the bounce area last night. Uh, in the overnight from the from the overnight trading session and if we do not if the price is not going to manage to break above the 1702 then uh, on a break below the 1698 will continue lower probably to test back the 200 moving average CL continuing higher and in fact I did post on Sunday a chart of oil and as expected moving higher uh, and uh, it is quite choppy at this moment. However, it is trading into an area of resistance from this uh, prior uh, resistance high from last week, uh, but it is setting the stage for a continuation higher. The new support level is 66, and a break over 66.65 may project the price higher into 67.19, 67.15 to 67.19 are the prior highs from June 15th. So this is the immediate area. If And if we break above this area, we're not that far away from this area. We may continue and the next profit target is into the 68 uh, dollar zone. So this is a bull flag. Uh, this is support at 66. And this is resistance at 66.67. A break over these highs, like I mentioned, will carry the price higher. Let's take a look at gold. Okay, the hourly chart is stable. Uh, I want to bring just uh, th uh, the uh, daily chart very quickly. We have pinned here. Uh, we have triggered above this pin area. In fact, I do have an alert at 1255 zone, which pretty much marks a double bottom zone 
uh, here onto the daily chart. So we're seeing a little reversal. Uh, 1272 was tested. The price was carried a little higher in the overnight trading session. As you can see here, it made some highs into the 1273. 1272 was the high from yesterday's trading session. Uh, the low is 1264, 62.4. And this is quite an interesting base right here with support at 1268 and resistance at the 1273.4. A break over 73.5 may carry the price higher back into these prior visited highs from earlier on Wednesday into the 1278 and may carry the price higher into the 1280 and back into the top of the cluster here at the 1285. <clears throat> and uh, if the price is not going to manage to trade above this zone, uh, the price uh, on a price reversal price testing 1268.3 price may come back to test these prior uh, lows as well bonds okay let's uh take care uh let's uh just review bonds very very quickly here uh bonds are trading let's just put the daily chart right here bonds are trading within the prior day's range within uh, within Thursday's range right here, the bonds are tapping into a confluence uh, area of support and minor support level. We do have uh, the 10 EMA and the 20 SMA and also minor support level uh, where it is trading right here into the 143.16 uh, to 143.22 level. Uh, for today's price action, we can see that the price has reacted off the 200 moving average at 143.16. It reversed. It is very choppy. It doesn't have a clear directional bias since it's trading within inside yesterday's range. However, uh, if the price is going to break above 143.22, the prior areas can be tested as 143, and these can be considered uh, target areas 143.28, 144, 144.06, back into the 144.12, and into these prior highs into the 144.20. If the price is going to remain unstable at this zone, if we're going to get some more selling pressure from these prior cluster, cluster zones of resistance, including the 20, uh, 20 simple moving average, uh, this may represent uh, this may represent a reversal in forming, uh, but only under uh, um, I would see a possible short only under 143.16. So it is very early. As long as the price is going to remain above 143.16, still going to be looking bullish under 143.16. Uh, we can see lower price target zones back into the 143 and even lower back into the uh, 140 back into the 14426 zone and may perhaps even lower retesting the prior low into the 142 uh, 14220. This is all for now. Uh, good luck with your uh, trading today. Um, and uh, I will be back on Monday with another pre-market game plan. Enjoy your day and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.